Hello, the trading is closed on June the 18th, 2021. Our disclaimer always comes first. Just remember I can be wrong and all trades should be at your own risk. Look for the pattern with the early low. This is it. Monday also has early low. We looked for, we looked for lower prices. Certainly got them. We have a new target, 4188.20. Unless we gap down correction. Yeah, unless we gap down smartly tomorrow, the rules say that should print. Let's take a look at what Meech AT had to say. Gave an ultimate buy signal. We got just the bare minimum here. Almost always you get more, but you don't have to. Almost always and always aren't the same thing. Now it says this drop is false because that's a target of 4188.20. Looks likely to print on Monday. If you gap down smartly, number still on the table, but not the time. It's pretty negative when you have the high bar and this is the first bar and the low bar is the last bar. It's pretty negative when you drop all day and then the weekend comes. Normally you get follow through. The catch is with just about a few minutes left to trade. We've been dropping all day and couldn't break these lows. Then right at the end, there was a wall of selling which continued into the close. Obviously, it isn't institutions doing all that selling. In fact, it's the specialists who are forced to buy. It's a sign of panic selling. And if it weren't for all these other negative things I've talked about, the vast majority of the time with a pattern like this, you would gap up over this high and the people forced to buy from the panickers would get their money back and typically a lot more. But this panic might not be over and we could gap down and we should know that Monday's open. Well, this was June 16th, the date we had for the high. It's held so far. I'm going to assume that that's it for this leg. If we trade over it, then I'm wrong. It happened before. We now have our first challenge. You connect these lows. We have a drop to it, but not through it. This is called a TD line. When this happens, either you gap under the line or the line wins. If there's no gap, you might still trade under the line, but it won't stick. It won't stick. You'll retrace to it. If you do gap under the line, it's pretty negative. We should trade at some time 290 points under the line, but the line moves. So you can't just come up with a numerical target because it's not where the line is Monday. It's where the line is when you hit the number. And that's a target. It's not a stop and reverse. So gapping under this line, if it happens, has a long way to go, but gapping up instead should have a pretty good recovery, at least on Monday. Well, Monday's pattern does have the early low. These are my calls for next week's patterns. Typically, the day rallies with a high in the final hour. If you don't, it leads to more weakness in subsequent days. Signals are mixed. It's bullish. We have a higher major AT target. Unless we get down smartly, it should print. The timing of the wall into and just after the close suggests panic selling, often met by gapping up and the market reopens. But it's negative. We dropped all day with a high in the first bar and a low in the last bar, almost always, and particularly over the weekend. This leads to follow through when the market reopens. And when that happens and you gap up instead, for the short term at least, it's very positive. Gapping under today's low unless promptly reversed should lead to a drop of 290 points under the rising trend line shown in the video. If we don't gap under the line, the line should win. If there's no gap, you could still trade under the line, but it should retrace. It doesn't have to happen the same day. So we're calling a major top here. This is the kind of action I really expect us to get a major top, a straight line drop, no chance to get back in if you don't enter early. 
No chance to get back in at a reasonable price, that is. Norminsky's back Monday. We'll hear what he has to say. I think he was over 90% accurate last time. Wish we could all be like that. End of next week, I have personal business. I'm going to try to do videos, but I might miss one. And believe it or not, I've now been making these videos for 10 years. Kind of hard for me to believe. Monday's pattern has the early low. Good chance we gap up over this line. See how the market never forgets these FOMC numbers? It's kind of amazing. If we gap over this line, we could have a pretty strong recovery. But if we gap under it, the bottom falls out, not necessarily all in a day, because we have a, a, a target hundreds of points lower. That's today's call.